Hello and welcome. Today we're playing Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, which is like a simulation game you can battle troops and all of that type of thing. It's, it's kind of confusing to say. But as you can see from the background of the game I'm in, you can, you can see there's it's goofy, it's very goofy. It's like ragdoll physics, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be messing around and testing a few workshop things, custom content which I'm reading from there. And hopefully, hopefully my game doesn't crash, because this game, well, it can crash. So, let's get right into it. We're going to try sandbox mode, which basically, in sandbox mode, I can just do whatever I want in sandbox mode. And it is going to be the goofiest game you've ever seen me play. Okay, we're in the select map section where we can select from like, a bunch of maps. There's these ones where they don't really have anything going on. But then there's these ones where have a bunch of stuff on them. I don't know which one I should try out, but... Um, what one looks the funnest? I want to try the Pyra map out. And I'm going to think, what could I fight with on the Pyra map? I can fight with pirates. Right, I'll build some type of Pyra battle and see how that goes. Okay, I've built somewhat of a dream team over here of pirates. We've got these guys in barrels, which look ridiculous. We've got the pirate captain, pirate queen, bunch of cool pirates. And on the other side, with only one troop, we've got four Ragnarok. Yes, you heard that right. Four Ragnarok from the hit Marvel films. And you may be wondering, how does this make sense? And to answer that question, I don't know. But... It is a custom created unit, so I want to see how it does. Right, uh, oh, whoops. Right, let's, let's try this. Oh, okay, if I go down the, was it the left mouse button, I can go in slow-mo. So this is meant to be four Ragnarok with his, that's a mace. Uh, right, let's see how they do. Right, Look, I can control them. Right, oh, okay, I've got this. Oh, I'm attacking my own team. Now, I don't think Four is doing too well, is he? You know, maybe I should... Wait, how much health is he on? Oh, he's doing too well. Oh, he's drowned. Uh, Four? Oh, my. Uh, Four? Are you okay? I could try some of the campaigns, but... Is Four okay? Oh... Come on, who's going to win? It's going to be the Pirates or it's going to be four. Somehow, a bunch of Pirates defeated four Ragnarok, the... Oh, he's a god, isn't he? The god of thunder, god of lightning? Something like that. Right. So, it appears that four Ragnarok isn't as strong as I thought. So, basically, I've got a bunch of stuff here. For basically a bunch of Marvel characters, like Star Lord. And Apocalypse and just a bunch of cool stuff. And I'm going to basically destroy this small, humble gang of pirates. And it is going to be carnage. As you can see here, I've got Doctor Strange, Captain America, and Iron Man. Who would definitely be able to defeat the pirates. But to give them an advantage, I gave the pirates a Hulk. Yeah. So I think it's a bit more fair. So we're going to see how both of these teams do. So there's only three of them, so who knows how they may go. Right, so Iron Man is currently in front. Oh! Oh, Hulk's still going. Hulk's still going. Right, who's going to die first here? Oh, is Hulk dead? Because if Hulk's dead, oh no. Like, Hulk's... Oh, the pirates are pretty much all dead already. Where's, uh, where's Captain America? Is he dead? Is this, oh, that's Captain America. Right. Can I get an F for Captain America who's died? Doctor Strange and Iron Man are still going out. No, Doctor Strange is in the war. He's drowning. Why is there a skeleton? That's weird. Right, I want to I wanna try and help. Right, where are they? What? Right, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Doctor Strange is here. So wait, what happened to uh, Iron Man? 
Iron Man? Well, where, where'd he go? Did he just vanish? I think Iron Man just vanished. Wow. Can we just host Iron Man? By moving on. Okay. Basically, there's some type of campaign within the game. So I've got 3,000 coins, which I've got to use to make an amazing team to defeat the tree people. Yeah, the tree people. So what could I make? Or what could I try? I just get a mammoth? A mammoth and a few cobbers. Put them inside? Yeah, well, let's see how this goes. I've still got some money left. Can I afford anything else? No, I can't. Well, let's try using this. Oh, there's more inside. I didn't see those ones. I can't. I'll control the mammoth. Right, I've got this. Well, uh... Move on, that's right. Mammoth, mammoths are pretty strong. Why the hell are these guys? Right, I'll get one of these cobbers to walk in this direction. Which will hopefully help them. Alright, get, get that good guy. Those two guys going that way. Okay, I think we can win this. Oh, just need to do some dodging. Right, I need to get rid of at least one. Did I get one? Okay, I think I... No, he's still alive. Okay. I can one mammoth. No, it's mammoth stuck in the tree. Oh, this is a mammoth. Yes, come on, we can do this. One mammoth. Oh. Have we got it? Well, who's still alive? Try to see who's. Is this guy still alive? And we won! Victory! Right, that wasn't too hard. So let's try the next one. Okay, I've decided to do my own little challenge. I liked the last one, but I wanted to do my own thing. So what I've got is. 100 zombies, right? Fast zombies, soul zombies, a bunch of zombies, 100 zombies. And basically, I'm going to give myself a budget of 8,000 in game coins to defeat 100 zombies. So I can only use the zombie apocalypse content thingy, which I have here. Right, so I, obviously, I won't allow myself to use zombies, but anything else in it, I will. Oh, oh, that's Kale Crane from, from Dying Light. Oh, I can also use a bunch of other things. Oh. Right, so I've got Kale Crane from Dying Light. Kale Crane. Oh, if only I had 500 more, I could get a tank. Right. So what's the cheapest unit? Which is good. I'm pretty sure I saw a hazmat unit, which threw basically toxic chemicals. And that would... Pretty much, yeah, the, um, this one. Right. Okay. Right. Where's this right one? I'm trying to think. Right. Get some of these guys. Oh, that's, that's already a bunch of money gone. Right. Right, get a bunch of these. They're the state police. Right. And we'll get a few ones that have. Wait, no, no. M4 ones. Which one might I have? So, alright. So I have, well, girl, this one get, then get an M4 one. Okay, so still. Hmm. What could I use my extra coins on? Maybe. Let's see. I have. So it needs to be like 150. I don't think there is anything. Um, I don't think I can add anything else. Right, let's see how this goes. Right, so we've got the state police, and I've got a few of them with, I think, shotguns and stuff. Oh no, M4s. And then we've got these ones, which throw, like, basically, they throw these type of grenades, which have, yeah, oh no, I'm killing my own team. Maybe we should just get a bunch of these guys. Okay, Swomo here. Yeah, that gas, pretty much, if you go through it, it kills them. Slowly kills them. There's still, like, a bunch more left. 
when you're at the fast ones. Is this challenge even possible? Come on, I've got this. Well, well, I'll take control. Um, this guy's been a bunch of donuts, isn't he? Okay. All right, moving on. I've got this. One man left. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm being munched. I I've been eaten. Right, I'll try that again. I'll make an even better army. Just, just wa watch this. It is going to be the best army you could ever think of. Okay, I've made a team which I believe can defeat them. I've got two National Guard soldiers with scars, a member of the police, and five, five um, U.S. infantry members of the communication department or something. I don't know, but from what I know, these guys basically can bomb them. So we're going to do this. So I've got these two guys in front just to, you know, hold the zombies back just in case. And this one, to Pretty much do the same. Like, here we go. Boom, there we go. We've, we've, we've just nuked them. Right, now we've dealt with those ones, now we've got to deal with the rest of them. Which I'm pretty sure we can handle. There we go. Right, is that, is that almost all of them? Yeah, we've won this. Yeah, we've got this. Because they're going to use another... Yeah, 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 there we go. I'll see it from the zombies view. Ooh. So how many... Is, we didn't lose anyone. Yeah, we didn't even lose anyone. So we won. And under 8,000. Wow. I'll right, see what else we can do. Okay, I've made a huge battle. Basically, this is a bunch of Marvel villains, heroes, going against one another. You know, Thanos, Ultron, uh, a bunch of other goofy things. You've got the Hulk, Starlord, Black Widow, Deadpool, Groot. Basically, this is going to be the battle of all of time. And it is completely random. So I want to start. Basically, the red team has got 6. The blue team has 11. Who do you think will place your bets? Right here, here we go. Right, come on. I'm not placing my bets on anything, so let's see what happens. So far, I think the right team. No, I think the both teams doing well. Is Hulk dead? Who's that been buying around? The one with the orb around them. That is Captain Marvel. Oh, Captain Marvel is quite strong for Red One. Who was Red? Yeah, Red had Thanos. Yeah, so of course Red One. Let's see, I have, let's just say, a trap card, which can destroy all of these with one punch. Yeah, that's going to be strong. Okay, here it is, right here. Some of you may know who this is, but this is Saitama, One Punch Man, from the anime, One Punch Man. So, I want to see how Saitama, whose value is only 1,000 coins, goes up against six of the most dangerous people in the galaxy. So let's, let's see how this goes. So let's get this in Swomo and... Okay, let's see. Okay, so far Saitama seems to be alive still. Is it, wait, what happened here? Is it over here? Oh, that's um, White Vision or whatever it's called. Right. Can Saitama defeat them all? Can One Punch Man defeat Thanos, Ultron and... Yeah, but it appears that Saitama, One Punch Man, has defeated Ultron. Thanos, Captain Marvel, the motorcycle death firehead guy, I forgot his name, White Vision, and the, oh, um, oh, I forgot his name, the raccoon guy from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So, that was quite an end. So, let's see, just, you just get a bunch and a bunch, and I've got like 50 Saitamas. This is crazy. Each side's got their own Saitama. Oh my. This, is, this gives me a good idea. Just a bunch of Saitamas. Hundreds, hundreds from all over the world, every universe. It's like the Spider Verse, both Saitamas. Oh my. Uh, okay. What, who's actually gonna win this? Or is it just gonna go into infinite? What is this? Oh, hi, Saitama. Well, still one here. Wait, I took. Wait, they're my own team, aren't they? But who am I actually fighting? 
I think there's hundreds of them. Yeah, I think it's oh uh, yeah, I think it's glitched. Right. Well, that was quite the battle. And it's not what I expected. The results were not what I expected. Sadly, that is the end of the video. So hopefully you enjoyed me playing totally accurate battle simulator, fighting with Marvel pirates, mammoths, and other goofy stuff in code in Saitama. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you enjoyed your day, night, or whatever you're doing. And goodbye.